It's always, it's always really good whenever MJ shows out. I know whenever MJ shows out, we're going to have a good game, it, especially whenever it's on the run game, because a lot of times things can go wrong with passing. And so on the ground, it, it's a whole lot easier to, to uh, have success just because you can't, you can't throw interceptions on the ground. Between him and our offensive line, both of them have just been getting better and better all along. And, and uh, each game, it seems that he's become more productive along with the job our offensive line has done. So it's, uh, it's really a welcomed new part of our offense to get him going. Uh, earlier in the year, we were more based out of the passing game, but, but here of late, we've been able to get the run game going, which has been a, a big part of us being a better football team. I know what we can do. I know we can score every time we touch the ball. So like us not scoring in like two, three possessions was like real getting to me. But as soon as I got like got the ball, got through a hole, touchdown, mood change. So What do you think it is that gives him his edge? What specific quality or trait? I mean, first of all, he's pretty big. He's bigger than a lot of people on the field. And so whenever he's running around, he's fast, he's physical. He's going to run people over. And that scares people a lot of times. So that also gives him his edge. He's also a super competitive person. We were having our leadership meeting the other day. And he told Coach Mack, he was like, I want more one-on-one -on -one stuff. And that's just that's something that you don't hear from a lot of, people, a lot of players. I don't know. I just like being competitive. That really drives everything. I like to win, I don't like to lose. Yeah. Well, he's a big, strong athlete, you know, and, uh, you know, he does a, he's six foot two, he's 240 pounds playing high school football. That's, that's a good size at any level. So uh, he, you know, along with that, he's been able to uh, really, you know, been a big factor in both playing linebacker and at running back for us. So a lot of times during the game, if we're ever down, he, he's the first one to say something. He's the first one to get the team up, get, tell, tell us, get our heads up, you know, like this isn't over. And so, so that's huge. And then off the field, like, you know, in the weight room and stuff like that, he's always, he's always fun to be around. He always gets us going. The younger classmen, they really look up to us. So like what they say us do, they do. So us being leaders and showing them like what we're supposed to do will help not only when we're gone, but like help them be a leader to the other people that's coming up too. He was voted uh, from, from his teammates to be on the uh, leadership council, which I says I think that says a lot about what his his teammates uh, look at him as, and uh, you know he's really consistent about being you know in the weight room and, and uh, putting the work in he has to put in. It doesn't. Uh, I mean, I would train the same if I only play one position, but you realize how like you're a big asset to the team, so you have to put yourself at a higher standard than other people. Well, according to what formation we're in, you know, he'll line up as a pass receiver, uh, and then also out of the backfield, he's been able to catch some passes for us. And then, of course, out of any of those formations, there's times where he lines up as a quarterback, it's sort of the, the wildcat formation, you might call it, and, and, and uh, he's been very productive out of that also. People expect him to run the ball, but whenever, whenever he goes out for passes and he's, and he's catching passes, it's just hard to defend that. It feels real good to know that you're like peaking up and you still got a whole nother year to like make tweaks and stuff, to like be the best you, everything. I've already seen him change from him coming into ninth grade to him now, he's a totally different person. He, his leadership levels have just changed drastically. He's just, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. So I'm, I'm excited to see him next year, how much more he grows and just how much more he grows as a player and his skill level. Yeah, it's always uh, it's always great when underclassmen step up and, and are having great years because you do look forward to them actually getting better than the following year. Another year in the weight room, another year of uh, uh, training, and, and, and then hopefully uh, uh, even more productive the following year. So anytime you have a younger player, and on this football team we actually have a couple freshmen who are getting a lot of playing time on, on Fridays uh, and a lot of sophomores have done real well for us. So uh, we have a small senior class, so we're needing that production from younger players. Well, a lot of our kids are playing on both sides of the ball and MJ is also 
uh, has to play linebacker and and, uh, and also on the uh, offensive side of the ball. So as the as the weather is cooled for us, we're you know a lot of those kids are having a better time, easier time at it. So and as, as the season goes on, a little bit better conditioned. So that that's been. Uh, that's not only the case with MJ, but also others we have going both ways. Everybody that plays both sides want to play both sides. So it's not like anybody's forced. So when they're playing both sides, they give it all on both sides. It's not half on this side and full on the other. It's full on both sides. So that really helps the team out a lot.